Once again we travel to Dubtown, that wonderful magical place where year by year the truth gets even more truthier, to find the Jehovah's Witness Elder, together with his little son Clive, busily engaged in talking to absolutely nobody as they stand beside their kingdom publishing cart. Uh, pay attention to your father, uh, Clive. Uh, it is a great privilege for us to be here engaging with the public, uh, sharing those precious truths which we have gleaned from our latest and most wonderful Watchtower magazine. Uh, the latest light given to us as meat in the proper time by the governing body. So while we wait for our next customer, <coughs> I mean inquirer, uh, let's encourage ourselves by me giving you uh, some great answers to any or all of your Bible questions. Uh, Dad, uh, why do we teach that Jesus is Satan's former angelic brother? Ah, oh, yes, yes, that's in the Watchtower for the 1st of September 1988, page 13. The article is entitled, Stand Firm Against Satan's Machinations. <clears throat> it says, um, obviously Jesus, a perfect man, did not imagine these encounters. He was confronted by the same one who was the power behind the serpent in Eden, his own former angelic brother who ages before had rebelled and was now out to thwart the fulfilment of Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. Satan wanted to break the integrity of the promised seed. So uh, yes, yes, this is the uh, latest uh, gospel truth given to us as meat in due season by our governing uh, body. It is extremely truthful uh, new light. Uh, so, Dad, why does absolutely everybody, every single Catholic, Protestant and Orthodox church denomination and sect, without any exception at all, reject this watchtower claim that Satan, who was then called Lucifer, used to be Jesus' brother? Ah, well, um, they all reject this terrific truth because they are simply not true Christians. If they were true Christians, then they'd be baptised members of Jehovah's organisation, uh, just as you ought to be, boy, and you're not. Huh. And everybody in Jehovah's organisation recognises that Jesus and Satan were as brothers, because that's what the society tell them. Uh, boy, isn't it wonderful to be in the truth. But Dad, Judge Rutherford in his book uh, Deliverance in the Preface uh, stated that uh, Lucifer, which is Satan's old name before the fall, uh, is a great being equal to Jesus. He wrote, The name of the three great beings herein made conspicuous are Jehovah the Father and the Logos and Lucifer his son. So... He made uh, Jesus, the Logos, and Lucifer, that Satan, his sons are both equal. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is a really wonderful truth. Uh, uh, Lucifer, yes, he is also a god. That is, he is a little god. Not a big god, a little one. Uh, just like Jesus also is a little god. <clears throat> now, way back in 1941, in another of the judges' wonderful books called Children, uh, on page 55, we read that uh, Lucifer was also a god. And that is still a uh, light for today. It has never been what biblical scholars call we sinned it. But Dad, uh, Satanists also lower Jesus from his high divine position and then raise Satan up to the same level as Jesus. Now isn't that exactly what the Watchtower is doing here? Raising up Satan and lowering Jesus? Uh, um, uh, come on boy, uh, let's pack up and I'll buy you an ice cream. 
Uh, you know that you will soon be old enough for driving lessons. And boys that get baptised in the truth might very well get a second-hand car and free driving lessons from their dear daddy.